Well, we're out here on D Street in front of Cyrano's Playhouse where the new show 4,000 Miles is opening. And D Street on first Friday coming up is going to be the scene of a great big block party uh, sponsored by the International Gallery. Uh, we're going to meet with them here and uh, talk to them about the, uh, the block party. But in the meantime, let's go into Cyrano's and find out what's going on with this new show. I proposed this play to Sandy about a year and a half ago. I had the fortune of seeing an equity production of it in St. Louis. You know sometimes when you see a play and you think, I think there are the bones of a great play there, but I wouldn't have done it quite how they did it. It was one of those experiences. So I came back, I read the play, and I just loved it. And he came home after a while, and you said, you're right. I love small cast we shows. It's four people. Things. We immediately thought of Linda Benson for the for the role of Vera, the, who is an 80-something grandmother. Jaron Carlson plays her 20-something grandson, Leo. He's just biked across the country. That's the 4,000 miles. He's feeling a little lost in his life, and he shows up in the middle of the night in his grandmother's apartment, no warning. She doesn't know quite why he's there. She knows something terrible has happened to him on this trip across the country, but doesn't get the specifics until later in the show. So the two other people in the cast are, are Taylor Campbell, who is playing Leo's well, at the start of the show, she's his girlfriend. Um, and then Elisa Marie, who is playing Amanda, a young woman who Leo meets while he's out one night in New York. Both Taylor and Lisa Marie are students at UAA right now. Jaren's an alum, so we are drawing heavily from the UAA theater community for this show. Like it was cool. It was something you did, you know, to be responsible to society. We are at Cyrano Theater Company at 4th and D, centertix.net, 274-2599. And I really hope people come down and see this show. It is so beautifully written. It's smart. It's funny. The people talk in ways that people actually talk. Uh, and it's such a delightful cast. We open this Friday. Why are you telling me this? On Friday, we're having the D Street Block Party, which is a community arts event. It's first Friday, September 5th. Totally family friendly. Starts at 4 p.m., goes until 10 p.m. We're closing D Street down from 4th Avenue to 5th Avenue, and we're going to have artists on the street making live art and interactive art. Um, we're going to have artists doing sidewalk studios. We'll have some live music performances. Um, we're going to have a dance performance. We're partnering with some of our neighbors. So Brown Bag is going to be hosting a beer garden. Bubbly Mermaid is hosting a bubbly garden. Cyrano's is going to have some theater performers on the streets and a caricature artist. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Well, there's a lot going on this uh, week down on uh, D Street. So get down here for the block party. Get down to see the show. Uh, get into the uh, gallery and see these uh, wonderful works of art and uh, photography in there. And I think that about wraps it up for this week's Entertainment Link. I'm Ron Holmstrom, and I'll see you around at all the fun stuff.